Well, guys, we've got some showers on the way. Let's start with the temperatures first. We're pretty much on par for the average, 74, 75, call it even. It was pretty warm overnight. Look at how those temperatures, I told you this last night, you'd see them cooler around the lakeshore of Lake Ontario, warmer as you head to the southern tier. I'm going to give you the big picture of why. We have a front sagging its way southward, and it's affecting those temperatures. You can see the difference in that. 80s south, 70s, and 60s north, so we're getting some cooler air in there. Look at the 6 to 10 day outlook, folks. It's getting even deeper in those reds. We'll call it like a reddish brown there, above normal temperatures. Wait till you see what that looks like in the seven day. I've got some 80s for you. We're looking at these lighter showers in first weather. I'm going to repeat this, right? We're going to zoom things out. Look at this. We've got a batch of showers and thunderstorms, some of these heavier, packing some, you're seeing the lightning in there. So I'm going to bring up the SPC outlook, the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today. It changed a little bit from last night. We're going to see some thunderstorms. Yes, in the green. Yes, but in yellow. It was a little shifted further south. We've shifted it further north. Let me tell you exactly what this means. So in the yellow here, you're seeing this is the winds. So more of a higher chance of seeing some uh, damaging winds here and then less of a chance of seeing it for portions of the around the Pennsylvania, New York border. Now let's get into hail. We do have the potential to see some large hail within these storms too. I'll be tracking it with you. Let's go through the future cast. You're seeing it already by 9 p.m. And it could be a little earlier or a little later. I've been tracking this with the speeds there. 55 miles an hour, it's moving right now. So you're seeing some of these heavier showers, thunderstorms make their way around the Niagara frontier. And then by 11 p.m., we got another batch on the way. There it is. Overnight, you're seeing some more heavier showers, gusty winds and heavy rains with this. In the morning, things quiet down. We're not done though. You get a little spot shower or two, primarily south and east of Buffalo. And then as you head into the evening, we'll get another batch of showers, primarily south and east of Buffalo. But don't be surprised if you do some, see some areas in the metro, some parts of the metro area, getting in on some of those showers. And then this just continues for portions of the southern tier in Pennsylvania going into your Tuesday morning. Do you see how those temperatures turn from the south? Let me take you to the seven day. I'll show you what that means for us. Your temperatures tonight in the upper 50s, cooler than last night. We've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then after that, some areas of patchy fog. Yeah, I said it. And then tomorrow, those temperatures will cool down. I told you we were seeing a cold front sweep through and you're seeing those evidence of that in the temperature map. Remember, I told you those winds are turning from the south on Tuesday. Boom, there it is. You're seeing the heat come in. So you'll see some higher humidity too. Temperatures upper 70s to low 80s for Tuesday. Going into the rest of that seven day, check this out. Those temperatures, 70s and six, 70s and 80s rather, for that whole seven day. And of course, we'll have some chances for showers in there. So this is a warmer seven day than what we were seeing last week.